<coughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and don't forget to download the video as soon as it is available by YouTube. It takes like uh, 15 minutes after we finish for you to download it or I mean to be ready. Uh, today our topic is the Muslims upset from Christian Prince and the Muslims today they are going to teach us a lesson about dignity and how to talk how you can be Christian how dare you to be how dare you to call yourself a Christian but yet you say the word vagina this is Adnan Rashid as I know his name and uh, he's upset he is up and said I don't know which one is up I don't know which one is set, but he is upset. Now we posted the link for the video in the in the info to give them a credit, uh, because you know the coward they will complain. He is using my video, cowards. Let us see what Adnan Rashid want to say to us. The dignity of a Muslim. He is schooling us. Evangelism is I'm this. I'm saying between you and I, I'm not evangelizing to you. We're just no, 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 not you. Christian Those evangelists education. out there who are evangelizing by calling you a bitch, a calling you a, no. calling you a whore, yeah. calling you a. I'm sorry to use this language, guys. I'm sorry, but this is the reality we're facing. So anyway, okay. so we can agree as three adults that right. etiquette, courtesy, is that good language? Hold on a second, and respect okay. are important. They're not essential, but they're important because we know that in this park, Muslims and Christians are like have lost their tempers at points, used inflammatory okay. language. Is that is that good language? Is that good language? The language that is used, which has been used repeatedly by depending on the context, by the per in, in isolation, no, it's not good language. No, it's so in context it's okay. It's, it's okay to call someone somebody else. Okay. It's okay to call it. is it okay to call a Muslim woman whore? If, is she one or is she not? Is if she, she's clearly not. Uh, or if it's clearly not, then it's just She's a clearly not. You know, first of all, I don't call Muslim women whore. But I call someone like you a whore. And I can prove it right now. Because the whore is who what whore mean? Whore is somebody have no dignity and a liar. Now the Muslims, they took a video of me speaking to a Muslim woman, and I did not call her a whore. It is you Muslims who said that. And obviously, by the way, she is. And when you Muslims complain about this video, cutting the video, playing with it because you are a bunch of cowards, not showing people what this woman she was saying, proving to us that you are what you are. The stones he created the whole world but you must no, you, you must have kissed his stones right why why your prophet kissed the black stone did he kiss the black stone jesus kissed nothing your prophet did why your prophet kisses stones okay jesus jesus do more actually worse actually ah, he play with his so mother boobs tell me why he's doing he, that he play with his mother what? Boops? you must be okay you see, you see guys you see guys you see guys you see how you see how savage they are I call her savage. I do not call her a whore, even though obviously she is. But you Muslims, you took the video and then you play the second part where I said to her, well, the one who is talking about boobs, she is the one who is talking about boobs. I said, you're a prophet. He said to an adult woman to suckle men. And I said, suckle me. Is that okay? Coward liars. Look what she said. Look what she said. Okay, show me. Show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played with his mother. Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played. Listen, listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. See, Anton, I didn't say who. I said you are a trashy person. Then after they say that this is, I said you are. You Muslims. After they start playing with this video, I said you Muslims are defending a whore. Because if she is a woman, if she is not a whore, she will not use such a language. And she will not say what she said. Especially the Muslim, they claim that they defend Jesus and Jesus is a prophet in Islam. So instead of taking my side, Adhan Rashid is complaining. He is defending the whore. <laughs> she is a whore. Now, before we continue, here we saw 
just to give you an example at Adna Rashid, because I'm dealing with filthy topic, which is your prophet, I have to use certain words, which is written in your text. As an example, here we go. We have a guy, his name is Fifi. Farid respond. Christian prince call everyone, he disagree with him, a donkey. Well, you know, uh, Farid, I have to call you a donkey. Isn't it your prophet, he said, that those who carry the Torah, but they cannot understand that they are donkeys? So why you're a prophet, it's okay for him and your God. It's okay for him to call people donkeys, but I cannot. Is that your Quran or because you are a donkey, you've never read it, these verses? Here we go. This is your Quran saying that those who read books, but they can't understand it or carry books, they are donkeys. <clears throat> uh, and this is a great example about what happened to Muslims. They come to us. They don't understand their books. They don't understand our books. And this is a great example about Muhammad himself, that he's a donkey. Because if the one carry a book, but yet he cannot read it, the first one to, to, to say that to him is Muhammad, because Muslim they claim he cannot read. Here we go. This is your prophet saying, the likeness of those who carry those books are like donkeys. Do you see it? Hello? Did your prophet and your God Allah say the word donkey? So if the word donkey is an insult, why your God Allah saying, okay, say they are ignorant. Say they, they should educate themselves. Why they are donkeys? So obviously the, the word donkey hit the nerve and you are a donkey. Aren't you? Because if the one who used the word donkey is bad, well, your God Allah is bad himself. Then look here. He said, he called me son of Muta. Look what he did. I called him son of Muta. Well, if calling you son of Muta is an insult, that's mean your prophet was a very bad person because he is the one who established the Muta, which means you just acknowledge that Muta is a prostitution, which means you are saying that Christian prince, he insulted me by saying to me that my mother, she was doing Muta. So that's mean Muhammad was teaching your mother to be a bad woman. So you just approve to us that you're a prophet is a filthy man he was promoting muta nobody promote muta before him and no one promoted after him this is the teaching of islam and you are the one who just made the comment he called me son of muta after i have damaged his reputation my friend uh, my reputation is dear you know as you see more people live in islam and my book sales is increasing and you don't dare even to call me because you're a potato Oh, what you make, you make a complaint, you know, he will hang up on me. I said, call me, I will never hang up on you. Actually, the one who hang up first and the one who mute first is the loser, which means if I hang up on you, I lost. And you potato, do you remember when Mimi Hijab, your boyfriend, he hang up on me eight times in less than 19 minutes? He hang up on me and then he called me after, which means I did not talk to 19 minutes. I did not even talk to two minutes. And he muted me more than 10 times. And you are talking about to mute and hang up. And he called me bastard. Filthy. Filthy cowards. All of you. You claim dignity, but you don't have it. Do you? But I'm so glad that he admitted that the word muta is not a good word. Yet his God in the Quran, in chapter 4, verse 24, he approved muta and he encouraged Muslims to practice it. What kind of God he come with this? What kind of God, he says, a woman, she can rent herself. Rent what? She can rent herself. And as long you Muslims talk about and you attack the one who use a bad language, I'm using, I'm reading your text and you're accusing me of bad language. What about this idiot? Is that your brother? How come you don't go against him? We Muslims, we speak with respect. Muhammad Hijab, Mimi Hijab, Posting in a Twitter against the apostate prophet. Why would this incest endorsing Islamophobe, who may be attempting to sexually lure his sister? Do you see it? We Muslims, we speak with respect. Hold on. Forget about Mimi and Fifi. Fifi get upset because I called him a donkey. And he get upset because I call him son of Muta. But both of them, they are coming from Islam. I'm using your Islamic language. What about this? Your prophet saying, the one who is proud about his inheritance in the time before Islam, 
tell him to go and bite his father penis and look at the muslim translation brother bite his father penis because we can bite him you muslim bite people your prophet was saying to you go after the christian prince and bite him you see the first translation in arabic it says i do i do tell him to go and bite the penis of his father what is the dignity Christian Prince, he don't talk when when he teach about Jesus. He don't say go and do this. I'm reading your text. So now look what you will do. You will say, did you, did you see uh, Christian Prince? He says go and bite the penis. I'm reading your stupid prophet word, you idiot. Exposing your false translation. Actually, there is a Muslim. <clears throat> he was wondering what kind of a prophet his a prophet is. So he asked this question. Let me see what is the question. Look at this. Um, let me find it. Hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> they are complaining, my friend. They are complaining. I mean, you, you must complain, obviously. You have to complain. If I am you, I will complain a lot. Um, Let us see. Uh, Kunia, like you speak about your previous uh, inheritance in your life, like your parents, etc. Be proud about them. You know? Okay, hold on, give me a second. <clears throat> All right. Guys, read with me. I will put it for you on the screen. They will say Christian Prince is using a bad language because I'm speaking about a bad person. I'm not a bad language person. Look at this. This is your Islamic website. Fatwa number 121823. And the scholar is answering. Detailed discussion about Hadith. Tell him to bite his father male member. And you Muslims are polite? Since when? Aren't you followers of your Prophet? An atheist asked me, how could the Messenger of Allah breathe upon him, speak obstance, obstance words when he is a Prophet such? Tell him to bite his father male member. Now here the Muslim they start saying the Prophet is very polite, blah, 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 blah. Okay, but this is, where, where is the answer? How he say such a thing? Firstly, brother, firstly, the prophet is very polite. Secondly, what is the answer? <laughs> Our prophet was more shy than a virgin. <laughs> Isn't this is a comedy? <laughs> okay, the guy is asking you what kind of a prophet he says such, such a statement. You said to him he was more shy than a virgin. He was he? He must be a virgin too. Huh? The word he mentioned in the hadith was not used by the prophet. What a big fat liar. Here we go. The hadith in the front of us. Potato coward. In different hadith, Abu Bakr, he said to one of the Muslims, oh sorry, of the uh, pagan, go and suck the clitoris. Umsus badr al Do you see it? What the word badr mean? Clitoris. Am I lying? This is the hadith. It is sahih. And this is sahih al-Bukhari. And this is the hadith number. 2731. So Adnan Rashid is asking them, what kind of a Christian this Christian prince? He used the word, like what word he used? Tell us, tell us more. Tell us more, brother. Muta is from your book. Vagina is from the Quran. Penis is even from the Quran. Everything I have is coming from your religion. Continue. And where is the 
Christian, global Christian condemnation of this behavior in the name of Christ. In the name of Christ, there is a, there is a guy you have called Christian Prince, yeah, a, a, a phantom who, who cannot be seen. Un, un, un I am a phantom like your God, my, my friend. Your prophet, your prophet, he said that your God, Allah, he never speak unless he is behind the curtain. So what the problem? Why you want to see me? Maybe I'm so shiny. Okay. And so look, I cannot be seen. I'm doing this damage to Islam. So what if I am being seen? Mean. Unknown entity is it somewhere. Because of potential uh, threats that you uh, receive? Uh, I, I, I don't, I mean, if, 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 you, if you feel threatened, if you don't have the courage and the... My friend, we are the one who have a courage. A person who is speaking about the most dangerous faith religion, making books and thousands of videos, he must be so brave. You are the coward. Look how are you? You are going in a Christian country where everybody is peaceful, going in the speaker corner doing jihad. You are a potato. A person who want to do jihad, he go join ISIS. You are the warrior supposedly taking your cell phone to the speaker corner. And supposedly you are the one is doing jihad and you are the brave. Why Christians will kill you? I am the brave. And you are the coward because to speak about such a criminal cult, violent cult, and not only that, demolishing it, making books about it, thousands of videos, you have to be very brave. You see who is brave? Coward, continue. Human, to be an evangelist and... I think he's be polemicist. out there, then, 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 then don't be there, right? I think more correctly, he's a polemicist. Yeah. He's not an evangelist. Like, yeah, also, Adam, well, he's evangelizing. Yeah. No, no, he's polemicist. By he's using not. his polemics. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> what's, the, what's the purpose of polemics? Uh, if, to, to evangelize. Yeah. To, yeah. To, so to so how, how, how are you approaching Muslims <laughs> by using that language? He doesn't call them. They what language? Them. So yeah. that's, that's one thing. So you're defending him? No, what no, what language? What language? What language? And you're the same person who, who I'm pulling you on your you're the same person yeah. well, he, he who doesn't, comes like, there and talks about Muslim on. extremists. Do you're I? the same person. Did I? Yeah, Anjum Chaudhary, <laughs> you're talking to me. You're talking to me about Anjum Chaudhary. Is that the same video of... where you brought up extremism? Yes. Because it wouldn't have been me. Yes. Oh, so we were discussing. So, but you, but you did raise the point. But you did raise the point on extremism. Is he a prosecuted person in this country? Is he convicted of certain things? Because. Christian Prince apparently. Well, no one knows who he is. Ah, well then potentially he has. No one, one knows. Know. No one knows who I'm the guy is. is. He's, he's, <laughs> he's some coward he's hiding behind guy. screens and using vulgar. I mean, I don't even believe he's Christian. I don't even believe he's Christian. He calls himself Christian Prince. He, he's, ni he's neither. He's neither Christian nor a prince, right? Potentially. Uh, and and he's not. He's not doing you any good by using that language in your name you out of all you potato what language what language tell us tell us because we are showing reference i'm using your stupid prophet words this is the language i'm using because my topic is filthy like imagine somebody clean garbage and then you expect his clothes to be clean my friend so you are talking about how dirty my clothing but because i'm collecting your filthy prophet from the ground don't you see his boogers it's a child molestation. What language? All people. You see, we, we the Muslims. If one of the Muslims was using that language. This is a monologue now. It's a little bit of a victim. It's a bit of a victim. And it's trigger words. And this is this is what I find really disturbing when people like you come here to defend. Yeah. Yes. You just defended him. Defended who? You said he's not even. Just, just, you know, forget about them. Let us see. Let us see how filthy those people are. This is your prophet. Close your ears, please. Because now the Muslim, they will record me and they will say, look what a Christian prince he said. He will cut the video. Did your prophet say to a Muslim woman, a Muslim man, did, sorry guys, I'm going to say the word as it is, just to show you how filthy they are, yet they claim that the one who speak in a language which including those words, he cannot be Christian. He cannot be religious. This is not nice, not polite. Your prophet said to a Muslim woman, Anik taha, Anik taha, what aniktaha mean, Mr. Adnan Rashid? And you speak Arabic, I think. I don't know. Do you speak Arabic, Adnan Rashid? Did you F her? Did you F-U-C-K her? 
Did your prophet use such a language? So now Adnan Rashidi will say, look what the Christian Prince language is using. And look at the Muslim translation, brother. Very honest translation. He said to him, did you have intercourse with her? He did not say, did you have intercourse? You liars. He said, did you F her? Filthy cowards. So if a person, he used such a language, imagine now I am in a speaker corner and Adnan Rashid is telling me a story. I said to him, did you F -C -F -U -S -K her? <laughs> Say, look how filthy he is, and look how they speak about dignity. Aniktaha. And this is a prophet talking. You just exposed your prophet because you just said that the one who speaks such a language he cannot be a good person. He either neither a Christian and neither he is a prince. Okay, that's mean your prophet he is neither a Muslim. Neither he is a prophet. What kind of a prophet? My friend Zach, you know, don't you see? I want to finish the topic. Later, when we go live in the other channel, you can call me. No problem. You are a hero. You, are, you will be my hero. Now, listen. Adnan Rashid, then he said that the Christian prince, he used the word boobs. You believe it? Yes, he do. The man is. Okay, you you said... just admitted that nobody <laughs> knows who he is. I'm saying that if the language is used correctly, it's not awful language. In in isolation, it's terrible language. You used it to quote him, have, so it's not and your and bad and language. And you've actually jumped around. Have you watched? And you said that he have you watched his Lincoln content? Doesn't. Have you watched his content? Yes. And I watched him with Mohammed Hijab, and I thought it was laughable. I okay. was laughing. Have you watched his content other than that particular yes. interaction? And I don't believe he's evangelizing. Okay. Because he's not calling people. Is he up. using evil language? Evil language, no. A, calling a Muslim woman whore is not evil. Okay, calling a Muslim woman a whore is an evil language. I, so you see, I just got you busted. I did not. You Muslims forced me to use it because you said this is a decent woman. Anyway, let us see that he said using calling a Muslim woman a whore, that is an evil language. So why your prophet, he said, if your mother, she used perfume and walk in the street, she is a whore. Hmm? Let us open the hadith. You see, this is how they, this is why they hate me because I got them busted from their belief. Their belief is stupid, it's evil. They claim dignity, they claim that they have honor, but they don't have it. You are following the most filthy man ever. Let us see the hadith. Give me a second. A woman, she just used perfume, walk in the street. She is a whore. And you are complaining. I did not say to a woman, you are a whore because she was using perfume. A woman, she called me and she said, uh, Jesus, he was playing with his mother boobs. Obviously, she is a whore. Because what this is about. Any woman, any woman in Islam, she put perfume, and this is Sahih, by the way, they will say to you, Sahih, Christian prince, Daif. This is Daif, Christian prince. Everything in Islam is Daif. Anything, anything is Daif. Hmm? Any Muslim woman, she put perfume, she go to the speaker corner, she is a whore. And look here, guys. The prophet, he said the filthy word to the point in the hadith, they did not say it. Look what they said. She is this, she is like this and that. Did you, did you, did you see the word? She is like this and that. The Muslim took it off. And they put meaning and adulterous. Filthy coward. Forget about this, brother. <clears throat> It's your day, Adnan Rashid. And this is why you coward, don't dare to call me. Uh, 
he said that the Christian prince he used the word boobs did your God Allah promise you women with big boobs in the Quran this, this is why I use it <laughs> otherwise there is no reason for me to use it what kind of God he promised me women with big boobs the booby God you got the booby God you are following a booby prophet booby God he promised you boobs may Allah boob upon you so you complain why Christian Prince he used the word boobs what I will use what is the word I'll use there eggs potatoes what I will what I will use what is the word I'm going to use to replace your word you know and look the Muslims they they they, they, they give their own uh, translation to make it look nicer or what about your prophet or God he described what is inside the women vagina what kind of language this language a Christian Prince you are no Christian no Prince Imagine Christian Prince is trying to invite people to Christianity and he tell them I will give you women if you believe in me I will give you women and I will describe for you what is inside their vagina Does the Quran chapter 55 verse number 56 describe what is inside the women vagina and this is your translation hmm? Brother You see how filthy they are all the language I use because I'm using your, your, your faith, your religion. I'm not calling people names. If I call you a potato, you're a potato I'm, I'm, because I'm frying you. If I call you a donkey, your Quran uses the word donkey. I'm, I'm, I'm learning from Allah. I'm getting education. Hmm? Or what about a prophet? He promised you women who they have nice vagina and nice... Uh, uh, boobs in heaven and he promised your penis will never sleep is that a nice language brother let us see <laughs> I love it when the Muslims play, play victims what is this brother the prophet is talking this is a prophet in the speaker corner he is now his name is Adnan Rashid there is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise but Allah will make him if uh, let's see first does he use the word uh, uh, Mary or use the word if let us see uh, no he, he used the word Mary here okay right. there is no one who Allah will admit to paradise but Allah will marry him to 72 wives two from the Horis and 70 from his inheritance from the people of hell all of whom will have desirable front passages what they will have what desirable front passages okay and what about Adnan Rashid the prophet can you tell me what will happen to Adnan Rashid Adnan Rashid I have a news for you your male, your male member, Adnan Rashid, will never go limp. This is the language of a prophet? Brother Adnan, I have to be honest with you. You are going to suffer a lot in the heaven of Allah. Because your private part, uh, sorry, I have to say the word penis, will never go limp, which means you cannot sleep in your stomach. You cannot stand in the line on the bus because you are going to hit the phone in front of you. And not only that, in different hadith, your prophet, he said that your penis will be endless palmetry. And you are talking about filthy language. So Adnan Rashid will be in the, in, the, in, in the speaker corner in England, yet his penis enjoying Corona in China. And you are talking about me speaking dirty language, you filthy cowards. Who don't dare to call me and debate me and I am the keyboard warrior I am a keyboard warrior I am a sky warrior I am hiding in my base still I am getting you all busted hold on bad language you know I'm a person who hate bad languages I'm going to read for you very decent language this is what you this is what you read when you read Islamic books 
This is an interpretation for a hadith about the Prophet saying that he put his penis between his, her, her four legs. Have you ever heard of a woman she has four legs? Ah, let us see what this hadith is about. This is the interpretation for the explanation for the hadith. This is done by the Muslims. This is not our book. This is the commentary of Al Imam and Nawawi. All right, not Christian prince talking because you know them, they will complain. Read carefully with me, brother. Our companion have said that if the penal head of what of the penis had been treated a woman anus, what what? What 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 penetrated what? What what? what? Adnan Rashid will go to the corner. He was a Christian prince. He used the word anus. Yes. And now I'm hitting you in your anus. This is why you are hurt. Badly. Spanky, spanky. This is your book. Or a man anus. Or an animal vagina. Or it is anus. Then it is necessarily to wash. So this is the important now in the topic. Guys, look at this legitimate teaching. Imagine you are in the church and you have a disciple of Jesus. God forgive me for saying this. I'm just giving them example about how disgusting this religion is. Saying this. This is your religion. So Christian Prince, he speak those words because he is reading your filthy the garbage religion. You are teaching Muslims that you have to wash after having sex with man in his anus or an animal or vagina or it is anus. It is necessarily, look how clean they are, man. I mean, we have to admit here they are very clean. Can you deny that? You cannot. It is necessarily, brother, to wash. Thank you, brother. Now I know what to do after I do have sex with the uh, women anus, men anus, and animal vagina or anus. <laughs> Look here, not, the story is not over. Whether the one is being penetrated is alive or dead. Like what? Like what? What? <laughs> Zoom out. All right. <laughs> You, mean, you see those people? They are, the Christian prince, he use bad language. I, I don't use bad language. You're a coward liar. Son of Muta is a practice you Muslims do. Potato is something I created, yes, because I fry them. The rest is yours. What is this? This is your religion. But the important in this hadith that you have to wash, my friend. Islam is a clean religion. Hmm? Our companion have said that intercourse occur when healthy male, penal head, could completely penetrates. <laughs> this is the this is Islam. <laughs> okay, let us continue. If a woman, brother, insert in her vagina an animal penis. What, what, what she inserted? What Muslim women she is inserted? Uh, sorry, uh, Sheikh, I did not... Uh, uh, Zach and Naik, uh, brother, can you help us? Christian Prince, we Islam is very practical religion. And we are very practical. And there is many women, they are lonely. And they have farm. And they use animals for entertainment. For, for what? For entertainment. Uh, so, no, for what? For entertainment. They make fun of my English, but not Zach and Naik. If a woman inserted in her vagina an animal penis, she must wash. How a clean man. How a clean, how good teaching is. How amazing the teaching of Allah. Decent religion. And if she inserted a detached penis, look, like what? Detach what? Detach who? Unbelievable. ذكرًا مقطوعًا. This is how it says in Arabic. ذكرًا مقطوعًا. Muslim women they cut the penis and they use it as a sex toy. A severed male, a severed male member. 
or a material aid perhaps material aid sex toys dildo there is two opinion brother about this issue <laughs> You know, isn't it isn't it amazing how they talk about dignity and how they talk about honor and how they talk about language? I mean, look who is talking. A followers of the penis prophet. Yes, Christian Prince, he used the word penis, he used the word vagina, and the purpose is very clear. Saying things as it is. I'm reading your books. What I will use, what I will use a penis here. Huh? What I will use? Cucumber. So Adnan Rashid will not be upset. No, I will use penis. You use a cucumber. Hmm? Or what about the fatwas of Muslims? A guy is calling the sheikh asking if he if he finger his wife in Ramadan. Is it okay? Hmm? This is your religion. Or what about your prophet? <clears throat> oh, look at this hadith here. When the two circumcised part meet each other, what is that? Is that like a space meeting, brother? The American, the Russian, they are fighting how to make stations in the space, and the Muslims until now talking about the clitoris of the women and the penis of the men when they met. And look how they translate it. What is that? brother i mean we can show you endless uh, uh, stories this is your prophet this is your religion so the filthy they try to frame me saying christian prince is a bad person using a bad language my friend say as much as you want say bad person say he is a coward keyboard warrior at the end of the day Christian Prince is humiliating your prophet and exposing him and you cowards cannot debate him and this is why you refrain from debating me making all kind of excuses when all will take you a call and I said those certain names I promise if they call me I will not hang up on them as they hang up on me like Mimi Hijab, the coward, he claimed that he will debate me. He told the Muslim, you want to debate, you want me to debate Christian Prince? Yeah. And then when we call him, hang up first time, hang up second time, hang up third time, and he called me bastard. I mean, look at the filthy cowards. A brother. A brother and sister. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, this is a website. I'm going to share it with you in, in the in the chat. This is a Muslim website, actually Shia. You know Shia and Sunni they expose each other. So here the Shia they are quoting some of the morality because Adnan Rashid is a Sunni. Some of the Sunni morality. What morality they have? The Sunni. They have a lot of morality. Oh. <clears throat> A hadith about masturbation, but let us talk about something more. More. Uh, second example of Sunni morality uh, uh, using a, a dildo. If a woman does not have a husband and her lust become strong, and then some of our scholars say it is a principle permissible for the women to take a crumbage. What is the crumbage, brother? It is or which is a piece of leather worked until become in the shape like a penis. <laughs> Unbelievable. And a lot of dignity in Islam, my friend. You will not find those words in Islam. Absolutely. If a man make a hole in a watermelon, those are fatwa. This is the scholars, the highest Ibn al Qayyim. Ibn al Qayyim, one of the highest scholars of the Sunni. If a man makes a hole, make what? But, but what make what? Make a hole in a watermelon. You Muslim Sunni have zigs with watermelon. Are you sure? Yes, brother. Or a piece of dough 
everybody make da to make a bread except Muslims that have sex with it. Or leather skin, or statues. We cannot take a Muslim. We cannot take Adnan Rashid to the museum. You take Adnan Rashid to the museum, he is going to start doing bang bang to all the statues there. And has sex with it, has sex what? With, with what? Had sex with a hole in watermelon, or piece of da, or leather skin, or statues. Adnan Rashid, I would like to hear from you your experience about last time you visited the museum, what you did exactly. And last time you bought a watermelon. Don't forget to take a selfie, brother. And has sex with it. Then this is the same as what we have said about before masturbation. I eat halal. Halal? Having sex with watermelon is halal? I'm so glad to know. I was really upset before because it's halal, not halal, halal, not halal, you know. Yeah, this is why you should not buy vegetables from Muslims these days. I mean, do you see what happened? They are having sex with the watermelon. <laughs> uh, muta, in the other hand, yeah, you see, uh, actually, this is like a, a, an answer. Hold on. I mean, look, uh, this is just Muslims. Uh, a Salafi woman can suckle a Salafi man with beard. Like, what? Christian Prince, he said to a Muslim woman, this video we play for you, when she speak about Jesus and boobs, etc. I said, your prophet, he said, that Muslim woman, she can suckle, suckle me. And the Muslim, they quote that part and they start playing it around. You have a lot of dignity, my friend. Your mother, she can suckle me. Me, me. No, not me, me, I mean, me, me hijab. Which is that, brother? And Aisha, she was ordering her sisters and her nieces to suckle anyone when to visit her. I would love to visit the office of Aisha as soon as possible. What is that? Look at those, all those stories, my friend. Huh? Sunni morality, bestility, can be performed during Hajj. Actually, this is true. The Hadith says, "Walau wata bahima la yafsudu hajju." If he do if a donkey or an animal, bahima is an animal. His Hajj is accepted by Allah. Is he lying, this guy from the Shia website? No. Let me show you the reference. All those references. إِذَا وَطَأَ بَهِيمًا فَلَا يَفْسُدُ حَجُّهُ If he if eh, This website is not opening. Let us try the from website. Let us see this one. Here we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is a different book. Let me translate this one to you in English. I will, I will use... Uh, we are in... Uh, this is... Oh, hold on. Uh -huh. This page suddenly jumped and became big. What happened here? All right. Let me translate the page for you using Google translation. Brother, this is a this is the website here. By the way, this is Shia library, but this is a Muslim Sunni book. Translate to English, please. If a man, he did boom boom to a woman in her anus. What? If a man had sex with the animal in the hedge, that will not spoil the head. Like what? What, what, brother? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Sadumi is okay, brother. Intercourse with the brother. Look, look at this. Look, look at this religion. If you have sex with an animal, Allah accept your Hajj. What a good Allah. That's amazing, brother. Allah is all merciful. Number 10. And if a man he do boom boom to his wife, to a woman, not his wife, a woman, in her anus, 
or he did boom boom to a man awlata bi rajul or he did boom boom to an animal we did mention in the sahih we have that it is his hajj here is not accepted and this is the opinion of Abu Hunayfa which saying that doing boom boom to an animal will not destroy the hajj and if you do and, 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 and Dawood uh, Imam Dawood he said uh, so uh, having sex with a man or having sex with an animal will not destroy your hajj it's lawful still uh, I mean like they have supposedly many opinions those are the scholars no we are not talking about them because they are very dirty very filthy language you know what we can do I mean we are not using them and look what they are saying Huh? Right? Oh boy. Let us go back here. I should finish soon actually. So you guys can download. Don't forget to download the video right away because this video will make them very much upset. Very, very upset. <clears throat> Uh, it's uh, it is uh, accepted to pay women for sex. Uh, nine example of Sunni morality fatwa Abu Hanifa uh, principle to have sex with his own mother. Have what what to have sex with his own mother? Do you know, guys, that there is many Muslim scholars until now. They believe that there's no problem if a person have sex with his daughter, even the Quran, but the Quran says you cannot have sex with your daughter. But remember the Quran said you cannot have sex with your daughter if she is daughter from marriage. If she is from adultery, according to Islamic scholars, to the most accurate opinion, it's okay to have sex with your daughter. But there is some scholars they go farther, they say it's okay to have sex with your mother, as you see in the front of you. This is the reference, not, not me. You see here, here this guy, he have the reference for you. This is not my website, this is Shia website. Of the thing which haram, but for which is no Islamic penalty, there's no Islamic penalty of having sex with your mommy. You believe it? There's no penalty in Islam for having sex with your mother. Or marrying your wife's sister, or her mother, or women who already married. <laughs> If a person married a muhram, muhram which means like sister, niece, uh, your mother, read carefully between two brackets, mother, sister, daughter, aunt, etc., 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 and has sexual intercourse with them, and even admit that the fact he knew while he's performing the material, you know, which means he knew that those are haram for him to do it, there's no penalty. Read carefully. Abu Hanifa. And this is one of the biggest Islamic Sunni sect. He said he is not subject to any type of Islamic penalty. Anyway, I mean, this is disgusting. I will post the link for you here. So those who want to save it. Uh, guys, don't forget to download the video. I just wanted to do spanky spanky to this Adnan the coward and to Fifi who admitted that he's, he's a prophet by practicing muta, you know. Uh, he is filthy because obviously he get offended by saying to him son of Muta you know if Muta was a good thing do you think Fifi will be upset if Muta is marriage correct guys if Muta is marriage Muslim they claim that Muta is marriage why why Fifi will be upset from me calling him son of Muta but he admitted that Muta is a prostitution by saying that So why you are saying why you're upset? He called me son of Muta. You just admitted. And by the way, uh, Muta, according to Islamic scholars, they admit all of them that Muta is renting is about renting women, not marrying women. Let me show you the reference so nobody will say we are making things up.
I love it when the Muslims, they claim dignity and honor and clean mouth. Here we go. This is your Muslim website, son of Muta, saying that Muta in Islam is nothing but renting a woman. Read carefully. This is not me. This is alislam.org. This is your Muslim website. Stating, not Christian prayer, stating, stating. Uh, let me show you that. Do you see it? Stating what? Read carefully. In some work, a special term is applied to women who participate on muta. Mustajara, she is rented or rented women unbelievable so now uh, Fifi he admitted that I am saying to him by saying to him you are a son of Muta that's mean I'm saying to him you are a son of a rented woman so the question is what kind of God he allow you to rent women you filthy coward Muta is considered as a kind of rental kind what of rental because general man basic aim is kind of marriage this is marriage is a sexual enjoyment so we have a god he approve muslims decent muslims like adnan rashid and fifi and mimi to rent women and this is halal rented women so if fifi he is a son of a woman rented by his dad he is a son of rental. I'm not insulting. It's in the front of you. And then they get upset for reading for them what is in their website and their books. And they admitted that muta is a prostitution. And the question is, as long as you admitted that muta is a prostitution, what kind of God he approved prostitution? But I know, I know, he will say the prophet, he forbid it later. Okay, why he approve it in the beginning? Secondly, who is the stupid he said to you he forbid it? The hadith? Will we have more authentic hadith says no? That muta practice after Muhammad death by the Muslim Sunni. Here we go. Are you going to say this is the Daif CP? It doesn't say that the CB read. Huh? Reported by that Jabir ibn Abdullah ibn Rabbah, blah, 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 Okay? And then he mentioned muta. They are practicing muta, brother, renting women. Whereupon he said, yes, we had been benefiting ourselves by this muta during the lifetime of the Prophet and during the time of Abu Bakr and during the time of Omar, which means long after Muhammad death the Muslims by Omar by Abu Bakr they are practicing muta what kind of a filthy cult practice such a thing thank you guys for listening maybe later if I can I will go live in Arabian Prophet but don't forget please to download this video I'm not going to keep it for long I will keep it enough only for people to download it and share it with their friend so they can show them how cowardly they are and this is a christian prince was practicing muta with muslims i was renting adnan rashid temporarily from youtube for a spanky spanky and we practice islam perfectly halal i was renting brother the prophet when the prophet he said the one who is proud about his inheritance from bp4 jahiliya before islam sorry uh, go and tell him to bite the penis of his father the prophet was a very good man when the prophet he said did you f her the prophet was a very good man f her you could not find different word muhammad what about you say to her did you sleep with her what about you say to her did you commit adultery with her what about you say, uh, did you do boom boom together? Coochie coochie? 
You could not find a better word from Enikta. And now Fifi suddenly he will not know Arabic no more. And he will not read this word and he will say, no, he will say, well, the prophet here, he have to make it clear. So he want to be sure, did you ever or not? <laughs> In the hadith, Muhammad, he said that you have to find, if, if, a, if a man found his wife having sex, he have to get four witnesses and they have to see the penis of the man go inside the women vagina the same as the man the same as the pen go in the ink or inkwell read it read it brother read it ذكره في فرجها his penis in her vagina so to prove a daughter in islam you have to get what you have to get four witnesses and the four men and they have to be men they have to see look at look at the muslim translation Christian prince don't say penis it's bad to say penis his sexual organ by the way what is the, what is the name of the sexual organ in english mm, i think nose no toes now this is tozy um finger well, I think Muhammad, he never have a sexual organ because he was using his fingers only. The hadith says the prophet, he imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he did not. So he have to see, four men, they have to see his sexual organ, his penis, going inside the women's vagina. Where is the word vagina? Where is the word farjaha? What organ? What is the female organ? What is that? What is that? Nipples? Hmm? Penetrated? Like a pen going in the inkwell. Look how clear and clean the language. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And remember, when we use filthy language, yes, we do, because we are reading Muhammad words. Muhammad is filthy. Islam is filthy. Quran is filthy. Hadith is filthy. So when I read, I'm reading filthy topic. I'm not speaking filthy. And those who they are playing victims, they are the filthy by trying to hide the truth. They try to frame you, saying Christian Prince is not a good guy. My friend, you say good guy, not good guy. Who said I am a good guy? What does that mean? No one is good but God. No one. And I am no one. I am here to get you busted, show everybody how filthy your religion. And don't forget to read my books, brother. Muslims are reviewing it very much. Sex and Allah, you will love it. Huh? Two parts. You will you will love it very much. Okay? A lot of stories there. Unbelievable stories. So, thank you. And uh, again, I will try to go live on air in Arabian Prophet if I can. Uh, check it out. If Maybe in two hours if I feel I can go. I will do so. Uh, and again, there is a, a a site you guys you did not subscribe to. We have another account. It's called the Quality of Life M27. Don't forget to subscribe there too. So people, but there the topic is not about Islam. There, there we are. We 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 clean ourselves from the dirt and the garbage of Islam. This is why we created this channel. You know what I mean? So Christian Prince, he speak dirty because he's speaking about dirty prophet, dirty God. Who promises vagina and penises endless penis women have one mile ass one mile ass why you are cheap man why you don't make it a mile and a half i mean what you will lose uh, and by the way where i'm going to get panty for this woman christian prince he used the word panty yes i use the word panty and speaking about your prophet what i will use as you see there's nothing there but vagina penis panty boobs nipples hello See you soon. Christ is Lord. And as always, we get them busted. Thank you.